Hello everyone, so here I am in the south of France and it's raining. Uh, not a bad thing really because at least it gives me an ability to be essentially indoors with not too much reflection on the screen because what I want to do is elaborate a little bit more on the recent post I put on the Night Vision Builders Group. Now I've been quite a fan of the Raspberry Pi which is a small little computer for a number of years and I've done two two lot of projects with it basically showing the capabilities that it can actually record video and uh, basically be used for night vision albeit uh, the one downside for the raspberry pi the the camera that you can get which is a direct plug-in which is very good it allows for the slow motion night vision capture uh, a link below will be put in there to show you what it can be done uh, the downside here is it's not that big in terms of sensor size it's quite small i think it's a, a, a quarter inch uh, sensor in fact it's probably less than that i think uh, but anyway that, that's bye bye um the reason why i'm doing this uh, now is because i want to actually show that the raspberry pi whilst um it's a good tool to use for education it also can be put into practical purposes and what i want to then do is show you on how you can actually take one of these this is a USB um, board camera. Now, a lot of you will probably quite happily pick up on this. This is a, a CMOS uh, sensor, and a lot of us tend to use, and I do with my own builds, uh, uh, CCD uh, version, the Sony EFIO. Uh, this is a, an OV2710 version, which has got a one it's not even a one third and I, I never understood this but a one uh, two seventh of an inch sensor uh 20 quid off ebay uh what i'm going to do is going to put all the relevant links and resources on uh, the diy nightvision.com website so by all means have a look at that and again the link will be below now what i'm going to do is i, I do get frustrated and this was if you've uh, been following my channel for a while is i get frustrated where people quite happily just plop something up and say, there you go, that's it, without giving any form of explanation as to um, why the, the thing works or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this camera and put together all the relevant codes and little step-by-step -step so you can kind of work along at your own pace. Uh, and the beauty of it is if you, if after watching the videos and they're not going to be hopefully all that long is after watching the videos you can quite happily just go to the website copy the code drop it in follow some quick instructions and off you go um, I think it's going to be a good one and once I get back to the UK we'll then start putting this together on a proper unit I think Tom with this uh, and it's out there for a uh, conversation if you want to me to do it as a scopeless unit or a near eye add-on or an add-on let's see um, yeah pop in the comments below it'd be nice to see what people think and also i'm going to uh, show you on how to make your own crosshairs with this um it's quite intriguing a uh, bit of fun a uh, bit of maths ish kind of thing as long as you've got a calculator <laughs> you'll be fine so so there you go a nice little unit to start with so yeah let's get cracking thanks